guys, what's up? Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel. This is Brooklyn's journey. This is different. So, we're in my kitchen. If you can't tell, we're in my kitchen and I'm going to meal prep today. But I wanted to do more like a personal style meal prep. I wanted to do more like a vlog type style meal prep, okay? So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to meal prep and I'm just going to actually, instead of voice overing everything, I'm gonna talk you through what I'm doing. So I hope you guys like this type of style of meal prep. I decided, why don't I try it? Um, see what you guys think of it. Look, I'm barefaced. I'm home. Like, y'all know, y'all normally come on here and I'm beat to the gods and this and third. Don't mind my eye. Had a little boo-boo, so it's pink. But, you know, the food, you know, y'all gonna see more food than y'all gonna see me. So, yeah, you know, I know you guys always see me on here with... A beat face, and I'm in full Miss Brooklyn mode, but no, this is how I'm home. Like, I did put my wig on for y'all, okay? I like my wigs! Now let me stop. I'm gonna start off with opening the things that I got from my favorite place, Thrive Market. Which, if you are avid watchers of my channel, you know how much I love Thrive Market. I'm always shopping on Thrive Market. I am an ambassador for Thrive Market, so thank you, Thrive, for sponsoring this here video. For those of you that don't know what Thrive Market is, I'm going to tell you on the real. It's like my favorite online marketplace where I can get things for like 25 to 50% off retail price. I go on Thrive Market because I get my condiments there, my seasonings, my healthy alternative snacks. They have everything that I need and things that I can't really find in my local retailers where I live. And if, if I do find it, it's a lot more expensive in the stores because it's considered like superfoods, healthy foods, or healthier snack or alternative. Eating healthy is expensive. So Thrive Market they cut the middleman out. It's straight from them to your door, so you don't have to pay ridiculous prices. There is a membership fee, an annual membership fee, but, however, when you sign up, you feed a family in need. They give a membership to a family. They have their website broken down into categories of lifestyle, so um, I'm super excited for those of you, which a lot of my subscribers are on a ketosis lifestyle. They now have a keto um, category where you can get snacks for keto ingredients for cooking keto and things of that sort things that you like okay what can i eat on a keto lifestyle they got you vegans y'all covered okay non-gmo all organic i love that you can see every single ingredient in all the foods and all any product that you buy you can see all the ingredients right then and there everything is out in the open for you to see you can see the price breakdown you can see how versus buying it from them versus your retailer how much the the price difference see all the nutritional facts so these are things that i look for i love i love 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 i save tons of money on thrive market and although i am an ambassador for thrive but i actually do spend my own hard earned money on thrive because i'm constantly ordering on thrive market so yeah i highly do recommend it in the description box you're going to get discount codes from me okay Read the description box. You're going to get coupon codes, discount codes, and um, more information on Thrive in the description box. So I'm going to have all of that down below, but I'm going to open up my box, and we're going to see what we have. Let's do it. Had to get them. Had to get these. Love my dang onion chips. Had to, had to, had to. These, my onion. These are for salads. Love these. Obsessed. Had to get them. I'm super excited about this. I am on a 30 day challenge, if you don't know. And um, these are organic freezer pops. No sugar added. 100% real fruit. Real fruit. Fruit juice. And the specs on these, as I saw it on the website, was impeccable. That's why I'm adding it. And the carbs are low. The sugars are completely low. This is great. So I'm going to put these in the freezer. And I'll tell you guys how I like them. Got some season. I'm so excited to try this. Thrive has some great season. And this is for keto. This is excellent for people that is on a keto and low carb lifestyle. I got some sea salted almonds. And dark chocolate. Got some Primal Kitchen Balsamic Avocado Oil. This is perfect for those of us on keto and low carb. 
this is for you I love their dressings and this is like a marinade this is a dressing it's a vinaigrette all of that I got some chickpeas yummy these are just some roasted seasoned chickpeas I am going to put these on salads and this is the Primal Kitchen Caesar dressing. This is made with avocado oil. And this is also a marinade as well. You put it on your salads and everything. We're this back. We switch camera angles. So that's the gist of the things that I got from Thrive Market. I'm trying to look at the lens here. Um, that's the gist of the things I got from Thrive Market. I got a couple of other stuff. I'll show you throughout the video. But right now, let's meal prep. Like I said, links are down below as well as coupon codes and whatever promotional... Um, promotions they have going on make sure you check them out and tell them brooklyn sent you all right um let's get cooking y'all here for the y'all let's get cooking y'all ready hey guys so i'm gonna start off with my cabbage soup that i'm doing and this isn't my recipe this is divas can cook recipe i found this on youtube i'll link it down below and because it's not my recipe i'm not gonna go into the full tutorial and i'll just let you guys give her the views because it is her recipe into the rendition that i'm making i'm going to drop some kale in it of course i have some cabbage here i have zucchini and yellow squash here and of course organic and i have onions red bell peppers and green bell peppers i am going to put a little bit of tomato paste in mine because i don't have tomatoes and she used carrots in hers i am leaving that out because too much sugar and carrots and i'm really cutting so i'm gonna leave that out i'm also gonna use some chicken broth garlic as well as some herbs and i'm also gonna incorporate some of the spice cave spices that i got off of thrive market and this is just going to give it really good flavor. And I'm going to add some black pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt. And that's about it. Like I said, I'm going to put the recipe down below in the description box. And I'm going to get started on that. And then I'll show you everything else that I'm making. Alright, so my soup is done. And it's tasting pretty good. Looking good. I'm happy about how it turned out. Let me give you guys an aerial shot. You know. There it is. Good. Nothing but veggies. And I'm going to be having a soup in a replacement of one meal a day. So either for lunch or dinner, along with a small salad. All right, I package them up. There's four right here. And I'm just going to have one for my lunch today. I have some left in the pot, so I'm going to just have some for lunch. And yeah, with some grilled chicken on the side and a salad. And yep, this is it. This is it. So let's move on to the next meal okay guys so next up we are going to work on the vegetables and I'm gonna roll some zucchini and yellow squash and I'm going to put some cauliflowers with it a little bit of onions and garlic but I'm gonna use sliced onions instead of this chopped onions that is for the sweet potato I'm gonna use the spice cave seasoning again and I'm also going to use some of the thyme and rosemary simply for the sweet potatoes and I will, I will walk you guys through it. With the roasted vegetables, all we're going to do is add our veggies to this non-stick pan here. This, we're gonna add our zucchini, our yellow squash, our cauliflower, and then we're going to add a tablespoon of butter. I like to use a vegan alternative butter. You can use whatever butter you like or Kerrygold butter is also really good. I'm using a salted butter, I'm not using unsalted. And I'm gonna add my onions to this. And I just sliced my onions really thin. And I'm also gonna add garlic and I'm going to add half a teaspoon or maybe like a third of a teaspoon of each of the Spice Cave seasoning. I'm also gonna add some black pepper and coarse sea salt. And um, what makes this dish really good is the lime juice. So I'm going to also squeeze some lime juice onto this. This is absolutely phenomenal. I love roasted vegetables and this right here, you cannot fail. So my oven is on 385 degrees Fahrenheit and I just placed it in there for approximately 15 minutes. And after the 15 minute mark, I'm gonna take it out and show you guys what it looks like. How good do my roasted veggies look? Oh my gosh, I'm tripping. You guys gotta see this up close and personal. At this. How freaking good does this look? oh my gosh love 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 it's so good try it so now we're just gonna get started on the sweet potato for the sweet potato all I'm gonna do is add 
the sweet potato to my pan, spray it with a little bit of non-stick olive oil, and I'm going to season it with some of the herbs and the spices, and also some coarse sea salt and black pepper, and a little bit of butter. Simple. If I forgot to mention, I am using one large sweet potato, and this is going to give me two servings. I cannot wait to eat this later on in the week. Check this out. How good does these sweet potatoes look? Damn good. I'm telling you guys, try it. It's good. So now I'm just gonna make some chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and season it, and this is basically gonna be some herb garlic butter chicken. I like to keep my chicken breast simple and just very flavorful and good. So I have chicken tenderloins here. Just going to add some lime juice some of the same herbs and spices and mix it all up and put it in the oven and yeah I'm good touching raw meat and my thongs are in the sink so this knife will have to do because I am not touching this chicken no so the last thing I'm going to do is top it with a little bit of vegan butter that I have infused with some onions and more garlic. The herb flavor is there, so I'm not going to add more herbs. And this is just um, a tablespoon of butter that I'm going to spread evenly. That's all. As you guys can see, I have several servings here. And um, this recipe is very keto friendly. So if you low carb and keto, enjoy. So this is gonna go under a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven. And um, I'm gonna cook this for about eight minutes and then I'm gonna put it under the broiler to finish off for about two to three minutes. Next up, I'm gonna make some honey teriyaki chicken thighs. And I'm gonna make a full detailed video on this recipe and it's not going to be in this video. Um, I will link it in a card when that video goes live so just make sure your notifications are turned on that way the minute that video go live you know it because you were waiting for it so make sure you're subscribed and the notification is turned on because I want to be very detailed I am going to show you guys how to do this in a separate video so we're just gonna speed through this process <laughs> guys so this is my teriyaki chicken it is now done like I said a full detailed video is coming for this one you guys can just you know make sure your notifications are turned on and yeah I wind up putting some of this sauce on the chicken breast because I had a lot of the sauce so just you know be mindful of that and I think it's ready so I'm gonna take it out now Yep, it is ready. Like I said, I put some of that sauce on the chicken breast, not too much, just a little bit, added some onions, and this is what we have here. All right. <laughs> Give me all a little bit of this food porn here. That looks so good. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I would have for breakfast. I have here some avocados and I would slice half of this avocado with some boiled eggs. And I would alternate between one of the two flavors of Premier Protein Shakes. These are really good, I like them, they taste great. And I would also have some coffee. Of course, I don't have my eggs out right now because I didn't prepare them. I just make them in the morning before I leave. I don't meal prep my eggs unless I'm doing like egg muffins, but I'm not doing that. So I'm basically just gonna be doing boiled eggs, half an avocado, um, Premier Protein, and some coffee. And I also like to put half of my Premier Protein in my coffee as my creamer. It's really good, try it, it sweetens it. So for snacks, of course, <laughs> Thrive Market. You already know I'm obsessed with these dang chips. So these are the onion chips. They're just basically onions. And um, I'm going to be snacking on those. I didn't put all out on the counter because you guys saw it earlier. I showed it to you. I have, vet, um, for my fruits this week, I have some blueberries that I will be snacking on as well. And also some apples. So this is going to be my fruit choices this week. I also have some um, dry roasted peanuts, which I will also be snacking on. And I wanna show you guys, the ices are frozen. At the, remember I showed them to you at the beginning of the video? This is what it looks like when it's frozen. I had one while I was meal prepping. It was so good, I had the Concord grape. Oh my gosh, y'all might have just did something. These are so good, I recommend you try them. And remember, I got them from Thrive Market, like I showed. And um, coupon, discount codes, coupon links, and everything that you need to know about Thrive Market will be down below in the description box. So make sure you check them out. There you go, oh man. And check out the keto section, because I know a lot of you are doing keto, low carb. They also have paleo, they have vegan, everything. So make sure you check it out. All right, um, I'm pretty sweaty, my face and everything from cooking, so I'm not gonna turn the camera back on me because I'm pretty sure I look crazy and I don't have a mirror right now. But I wanna thank you all for watching. If you liked this video and found it informative, thumbs it up and I'll follow me on my social media networks and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.